Well, the space race is back on in the new thriller ISS. As war breaks out on Earth, astronauts at the International Space Station, including Christian, played by John Gallagher, John Gallagher Jr., quickly find themselves at war amongst themselves to get control. Take a look. Hey, guys. I think I'm seeing a volcano erupting. Where did you see it? I'm assuming she's looking at the Yucatan Peninsula. No, it was east of all of that. Oh, whoa. You all just saw a flash, right? Mm -hmm. What the hell? What is going on down there? We gotta get out to the Kukuba. Now, guys! <gasps> get out! No! And John's with me now. Welcome back, John. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. I'm just feeling like claustrophobic just watching that. But it, this is an intense movie. So I mean, there's so many layers to this. There's um, the war in Earth, on Earth, the war in space, the tight quarters, the claustrophobia. Like, what first pulled you into this? Because did you say, this looks like a challenge. I need to do this. Yeah, it, it, the script just grabbed me. You know, it was, it, was, it was very grounded, even though it was like a science fiction thriller. It was all about the characters. It was about the human response to yeah. this really intense situation. So I think just kind of trying to think, like, what would I do? Uh, I mean, that's a, that's a question for another day. What would I do if I was an, an astronaut? There's a reason that I'm not an astronaut. <laughs> yeah, I do yeah, what I do. Too. But just the kind of the, the human element of the script really pulled me in. Yeah, so you played this astronaut. Um, his his name is Christian. We kind of see him unravel yeah. <laughs> as time goes on. How do you tap into that headspace? And is it easy to get out of it when you're done with a scene? Because uh, Yeah, I, I just thought I, I, I viewed him as kind of a control freak who finds himself in a situation where he has to relinquish all control and he can't. Yeah. And he kind of snaps I in the process. Um, thankfully, I'm not much of a control freak, so I, I didn't take any of it home with me. Yeah, I mean, it kind of feels like a chamber play this film did you ever feel I mean it's just just the six astronauts that we mm -hmm. see the whole time did you ever feel like you were in this kind of intimate play yeah I think that's what I liked about it was that it was just six characters uh, struggling to get through a really intense situation so at times it really did feel like you know we were right there the six of us on this small set and it felt a little bit like it does when you're doing like a piece of theater yeah but let's talk about that set for a second and just like what filming this entailed because I mean you're in close quarters at your kind of in anti-gravity but not anti-gravity like it's hard enough to be an actor and to remember <laughs> your lines and do all these things and have the emotions but at the same time you're like supposed to be floating through space so yeah. I mean, what, what was that like we shot a lot of it really practically you know a lot of people are like oh you must have had a bunch of uh, cgi work it was like no it's really good old-fashioned trick photography and our stunt crew that had us on wires so we did a lot of wire work to make it look like we're in zero gravity because the whole film is set on the iss yes. which means there is no gravity for the whole entire film so that was a challenge uh, to do it, but we, we all just kind of strapped ourselves in every day and went for it. Yeah, I mean, now non-astronauts can go to space. Do you think that you would ever do that? Mm. Now, but like now I that you've said, done this, you're like... Like I said, there's a reason I do <laughs> what it is that I do. I, I would not be, a, a, you know, a prime candidate for yeah. such a thing. No thanks. I like to be on the ground. Yeah, me too. Um, and speaking of being on the ground, you just wrapped um, a run in D.C. of it, Swept Away, which is a new musical. Yeah. I mean, what draw, drew you to this show? I mean, we love you on, on stage. Oh, thanks. And so, I mean, tell me, talk to us about this particular role. It felt like coming home. You know, it's Michael Mayer, the director that I did Spring Awakening and American Idiot with. So it's the third musical that I've collaborated with him on. It has songs by the Avid Brothers and the book by John Logan, one of the great dramatists of our time, and uh, an incredible cast. It takes place on a whaling ship in the 1800s. And <laughs> I, the second bro. half of the show is on a lifeboat. <laughs> so I'm always doing roles where I'm trapped somewhere. Yes, I don't yes. know why. It's a theme with uh, I don't, you. I'm not picking them, they just come to me. But it was really great. We had a great run. We broke all the records at Arena Stage in D.C. and had a really so great time. Could possibly go to Broadway, yes? You know, fingers crossed. Uh, I wish I had an, an official update, but it went so well in D.C. that uh, that's certainly something we're hopeful for. Well, if it does, hopefully you'll come back and talk to us about anytime, it. Anytime, anytime. And you can catch ISS in theaters now. It's a good one. Thanks, John. Thanks for having me.